Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Blogging Your Passion show. I'm your host, Jonathan Milligan, and today's topic is the Busy Bloggers Weekly Blog Planner Template. Now, that's a mouthful, but in an essence, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through this one-page uh, weekly planner that I created, and this is something that uh, I've been doing for the last couple of months at the either at the end of the week planning for the next week or first thing Monday morning planning out my week and the reason why I needed something like this is because I found that a to-do list calendar uh, email everything got completely scattered and it got me away from the core essentials of my business and what I needed to focus on and so why having this personal uh, one page productivity sheet is so vital for me is because it helps me get back to focus. It helps me to to refocus in the areas that make the most difference in my business. Have you guys ever heard the term busy work? Well, this is especially true for those of you who are trying to build some kind of a personal brand or online business, whether you're a blogger, a speaker, a writer, a coach, you, if you haven't already figured this out, you can get pulled in a million different directions. Well, this is going to be your focus sheet. Now, for those listening on the podcast, uh, you're going to need to um, picture a little bit of what we're going to be talking about today because we're actually recording this session live on Blab. But I want to give everybody immediate access to this one-page PDF. You can print this off, use this template over and over and over again. And again, this is the weekly blog planner PDF. So here's how you get access to it. You just grab your phone and text 44222 and the word weekly. That's W-E-E-K-L-Y, the word weekly to 44222. And when you do that, um, we'll email you. You send us your email address. We'll email you this PDF, print it off, start using it. So what I'm going to do uh, today is I'm going to actually walk you through this and I'll try to best describe it as I can for the podcast listeners exactly how this tool works for me. So in my book, The 15 Success Traits of Pro Bloggers, I talk about the four keystone habits that all the successful bloggers follow. And I've said this before, but if you look at my week, 90 to 95 percent of my week is in just four key areas. So if you were to spend the day with me here in my home office and watch me work for the week or watch me work for the day, you'll find that majority of my day is spent in one of four key areas. And what ha often happens when uh, I get sidetracked and what often happens when you get sidetracked is we start falling into busy work. We start falling into other people's agendas. We start getting distracted uh, because there's, you know, there's always more to learn. There's always more to, to try to figure out. And we get off course. This planning tool is going to help you to stay on course. And when you feel like you've fallen off the wagon and when you feel like um, you, you, what you started during the day as a good plan and by mid-afternoon you're sidetracked, or you're just in the middle of your week and you're not anywhere near the goals that you had for your blog or for your business, you can come back to, to home base, come back to the fundamentals. So let me walk you through this. So at the bottom right side of this productivity planner is what I have weekly goals. I think it's important that you start there because you want to be able to decide right away what is it that I ultimately want to get done this week? Now, for me, this comes from taking a quick look at my 90-day goals. I'm a huge believer in 90-day goals. If you've listened to the podcast or you followed the blog, 90-day goals makes all the difference for me. I tried to choose three to five 90-day goals. And so what I do, and I usually will take this one-page sheet, and I'll either look at it on Friday, kind of thinking about my week ahead, or if I get too busy and I can't, I'll look at it on Monday morning and I'll look at my 90 day goals and I'll say, what is it that I can do this week to move my goals forward? So maybe in the past you have been a proponent that, you know, establishes yearly goals. Yearly goals are great, 
but we still got to break those down. So I'm able to look at what the goals that I'm trying to accomplish. I've got three to five goals right now as I'm recording this that I'm trying to get done before July 1st. And so those are, it's like a race for me. I'm pushing myself and challenging myself to get those done. Well, those goals in and of themselves aren't going to be accomplished in one setting. I've got to break those down. And so starting with the weekly goals helps me to determine, okay, this is what I would like to get done this week to help me move toward my goals. So I simply just jot those down. I don't spend a lot of time in this area, but I try to get three to five uh, weekly goals in there. All right. Now, Next, I move up to the top, and this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier in my book, The 15 Success Traits. I talk about the four keystone habits of pro bloggers, and these are the four areas. If you say, Jonathan, what sh should my focus be? I would tell you, you need to focus in these four areas, and they are the create habit, the capture habit, the compile habit, and the connect habit. Now, you'll need to read my book to get some more details because I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it, but let me just simply define each of them. The create habit is when you use text, audio, or video to get your message out to the masses. So when you're looking at the create box on this productivity planner, I want you to think about in terms of what new piece of free content can I create this week for my audience? Now you say, well, why is that so important? Is it really that important? My answer is absolutely yes. It's an opportunity for you to create something and add value first. This is the stuff that gets shared on social media or you can buy Facebook ads to it. It's, it's providing value up front. The goal then is for us to build an email list and that is the next box down is the capture habit. And so for me, it's simply, what do I want to get done this week in relationship to getting more email addresses? You know, if I don't have a way currently for people to get on my email list on my website, I need to get something up. I need to install something like the Sumo Me plugin. Or maybe the capture habit is I need to set up a webinar where I can maybe start collecting leads or Maybe I need to think about creating a lead magnet or a PDF checklist that I can give away to begin collecting more leads. Whatever it is you need to do to start collecting more email addresses, I would jot down a couple of items in the capture box. Let's go up to the top right. And this is the compile habit. The compile habit, as the way that I define it, is... Anything that is a product or service that you're going to get paid for. So this is where the money is generated. So if you're working on an online course, maybe you need to have a goal of recording uh, the videos in the next module of your online course. Or if you want to launch a coaching program, maybe your goal this week is to outline uh, the steps that you need to take in order to get that coaching page alive so that people can pay you for your coaching. Whatever it is that you want to earn money with, this is the box to determine, I want to get this done. Then the next box down from that is the connect habit. So for those podcast listeners, you're not able to kind of see this. There's four boxes on the top uh, half of this one page sheet. And so we're talking about the connect habit. The connect habit is simply who do I need to be reaching out to? Who do I need? Who, who else is an influencer in my space that I can reach out to? Or maybe I just need to start by creating a spreadsheet and start capturing names of other bloggers or podcasters, um, speakers, other people in my niche that I need to, to reach out to this week. All right. So pause for a second here. I just covered a lot in these four habits. What I don't want you to do is to get overwhelmed here and say, well, yeah, I want to create five blog posts. So I got to write all five in the create box. And I want to capture a thousand email addresses this week. And so I got to go, no, don't do that. All I want you to do is what reasonably you can get done 
jot it down in the boxes. That's why there's no lines in this boxes. I don't want you to think that you have to have a certain number in there. It's whatever you can do to kind of move the thing forward, move your business forward. That is the goal here. And so for me, when I feel like I'm getting off track, when I feel like I'm kind of losing a little bit of focus, I come back to these top four boxes. And that helps me to solve the problem of what is most important in my business. Because at the end of the day, I need to be creating new valuable content that people can share and hear about me, right? That's the awareness of your brand uh, that you should always be doing. The capture habit is building that email list. The compile habit is actually making money with your blog or your website. And the connect habit is connecting with other people and networking in that way. All right, so that's the top box. Now, while problem number one for a lot of us is we lose focus on what's most important, that's what the top four boxes solve. The boxes in the middle of the document is what solves this next problem. What do I email my list? How many times has this happened to you? And I know it's happened to me where a week or two goes by, maybe even longer at times, and you haven't been emailing your list. And what happens is it creates this anxiety with us because we're like, I, you know, if I, I haven't communicated with them in a while, now all of a sudden if I send them something, you know, what happens if they all unsubscribe and that's going to be discouraging, depressing, and we, we just go down that downward spiral. Instead, what we need to do is we need to look at uh, our week and go ahead and determine when we're going to send an email and a general idea of what that email is going to be like. This will help you because um, this is what is going to help solve the issue that you're having of forgetting to email your list because this planner is going to, you're going to be looking at this on Monday or the Friday before. You're going to be like, oh yeah, I need to be building the relationship with the list. The point isn't to send an email every day. Just because I have Monday through Saturday on here taking Sunday off doesn't mean that you have to figure out an email to send every day of the week. That's not the point. But the point is, what kind of uh, value-added email can I send or emails can I send this week to nurture and build that relationship? See, a lot of people say, a lot of experts say, well, you know, the money's in the list. I look at it differently. Sure, money is where, I mean, the email list is where you make your money, but I see it as relationship is in the list. If you don't have a relationship, you've got a short-term uh, money situation. If you want to build a long-term business, it starts with building the relationship first. That means every single email doesn't mean you have to ask for something, uh, for them to buy something. And so the point here is I want you to map out what emails that you're going to send for the week. Just a, you know, a, just a one, uh, maybe just the subject line or just the essence of what you want to send out. Okay, finally, in the last part is the box at the bottom left. This is miscellaneous to-dos for the week. So these probably, they may not fit into the create, the compile, the capture, or the connect boxes like we talked about earlier, but these are things that you feel like you've got to get done this week. You can jot them down here. Now, the other thing you can do is it can be a box for you when something comes up to keep focused is to just jot it down there so that you won't forget about it. But this is a place for those miscellaneous things that we need to absolutely do, but they just don't fit in any of the other boxes to kind of jot them there. So let's take a recap. The top section of this one page productivity planner is designed to help you stay focused in the four key areas where you're creating content, you're capturing more emails, you are working on something that you can uh, earn money with, and you're connecting with other influencers in your niche. The middle section is to help you get over uh, the uh, forgetting to email and build the relationship with your list. Then, of course, we have the miscellaneous to-dos at the bottom as well as your weekly goals. 
listen, guys, this may seem simple, but I promise you, if you use this planner, it will help get you moving in the right direction. So again, if you want to see a copy of this or you want to grab a copy and start using it for yourself, then you just need to text the word weekly to 44222. Again, it's the word weekly to 44222. Well, we are wrapping things up for this uh, show for the podcast listeners as well as those watching over on YouTube. Uh, we have an after party after every one of these shows over on Blab. And if you want to take a look at what we're up to, you can go check us out, blab.im slash John, J-O-N, Milligan, M-I-L-L-I-G-A-N. But we're going to hang out here with everyone else and answer some questions, um, take some different questions about online business or about productivity in general. But again, for those listening on the show, thank you so much for your uh, participation, your help, your encouragement, the emails that you send. Thank you again so much. Go out there and blog your passion.